is 1116 on this May Monday. It felt like May today, a little sun. It felt really good mm -hmm. tonight. Some rain. Yeah, a little bit of rain tonight as well. Uh, it's just amazing to me still, and I still appreciate that we turned the corner. Oh, yeah, I mean, we turned it. the corner, right? And it's I still can't get used to it. It feels great outside. So we have more days like that ahead uh, tomorrow morning. Getting out the door, we're going to have bright sunshine after the clouds that are here tonight clear yeah. and we're looking pretty good uh, as we get into the extended forecast tonight, though, what you're noticing if you were out for dinner, perhaps you notice ah, a little bit chillier than where we've been. Well, we're back into the 50s and even low 60s outside, and that's all courtesy of our north wind. This north wind has won out, so to speak. We've got the cold front that has now sagged down into southern Ohio, so we're on the cooler side of things. The wind isn't strong, but it's out of the north, and that's bringing in not only cooler temperatures, but drier air. In fact, over the weekend, we had dew points that got up into the low 60s, so you were probably feeling after that rain moved through early Sunday, you were feeling the humidity Sunday afternoon as that front lifted. We had it, and that's what dew points in the 60s. Right now, we're back down to the 40s and 50s, so this is drier air that's working in. In. Tomorrow, you're not going to feel the humidity as that dry air will continue to sink in from Canada. And look at the numbers, still humid as you get downstate, down into areas of Indiana. Evansville, Indiana, sitting at a 70 degree dew point, feels like Florida, but not for us. That dry air is going to be with us really for the next couple days. So, tomorrow morning out the door again, the clouds will be around. They'll clear for sunshine from west to east. We're in the 50s, and then sunshine throughout the day tomorrow will be noticeably cooler near the lake. Remember that north wind off our 40 degree lake water, 48 degrees, 49 degrees, depending on where it is, uh, is going to create quite a cool little dome air along the lake shore. So, we have some leftover rain as this frontal boundary moves through. It's just light, occasionally moderate, just wetting the streets out out there. We do have that storm down towards the Mansfield area. We'll miss Mansfield and this area is of Richland County heading down towards Knox County, but you can see the rain stretches back towards Michigan. Kind of a messy pattern. This time of year, you get into these patterns where it looks like someone just took a paintbrush with green and just slapped it all over the place. There's no real system to speak of. You get these complexes of showers and storms to just kind of roam across the country kind of randomly. It's a tricky forecast, but for us, we fall in the easier side of things as all these clusters and storms will be down towards the south. We settle into high pressure, and that's real easy to forecast, folks. We've got lots of sunshine and really calm weather over the next couple of days. A great place to be on the weather map. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Thank you through it tomorrow morning. There's your leftover clouds giving way to sunshine temperatures tomorrow. This is your noon as you're heading out for lunch. Very, very comfortable. The only cooler spots again are going to be near that lake with that north wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here are your afternoon highs. We've made it in the 60s. I think approaching 70 in some of these locations down to the south. Lakeshore areas will be cooler. Tomorrow night's our really only cool night we need to watch. If you've been bringing the plants out, might want to bring them in. We're back into the low 40s, may have some upper 30s in spots, so not expecting frost but you know, a lot of plants don't really like the 30s for temperatures. We'll warm nicely. Wednesday looks fantastic. We're talking 70s with lots of sunshine. If you need to mow, got to figure out where to stand. I always get in the way of this graphic. I'll go over here. Uh, looks good tomorrow. Looks good Wednesday. Looks good Thursday. Friday, we introduced some more rain into the forecast, and that means yeah, we've got more humidity returning as well. Our muggy meter brings us up into the comfortable category by Friday, but notice the humidity building back into that humid category as we get into Friday and Saturday. In terms of rainfall on the year, the only number you need to see is that bottom one. That is our surplus. So our gardens, our soil, our, our farms, our fields, all that stuff all have a nice surplus of one to three inches in the ground. So we don't really need any more rain, but we could always use it this time of year. So when does the next rain arrive as we look ahead? Looks like Friday area of low pressure is going to come out of the Gulf of Mexico. That will bring an area of rain into our area on Friday. And then the Saturday gets messy and Sunday gets messy again as well, with perhaps a complex of storms moving through here. Unfortunately, for Mother's Day weekend, we are going to be dealing with a little bit of rain, but we've got warm temperatures for the duration of the forecast time frame we're watching. May 17th, 18th and 19th. It gets kind of interesting around here. May have a cool spell. Union Home Mortgage seven day. Beautiful this week. There's your weekend rain. You'll have to hold that umbrella for mother. If you call her mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> 70s with some rain around. So for, for moms. Hold the umbrella for mother. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mother. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Matt.